Hello, my name is Dennis Davis and I'm the Director of Safety at Prime Incorporated. We are here to talk about an exciting partnership with Netrodyne to bring safety technology to our trucks. You'll hear from our CEO and founder, Mr. Robert Lowe, and our president, Daryl Hopkins. Then I'll come back with you to answer some frequently asked questions. Thanks, Dennis. I was personally not a fan of inward facing cameras due to, I think, um, you know, the common concern of privacy for our drivers. I respect that. But this new technology from Netrodyne is really jam up. It convinced me that privacy was not an issue. The technology makes us safer and our drivers more profitable. Change is always hard, but change can make us better. Talk about cell phones, smartphones, the internet, now AI, which is a lot of AI incorporated into this technology can really make our lives better and safer. That's very important. Our customers look at our CSA scores. So every time we get a cell phone violation, a handheld device, uh, a distracted driver violation, that impacts our ability to get freight. And we always want more, higher paying, better freight. So I'm looking forward to what this technology can do for us and how it can make us safer and better and save lives. Very, very important and obviously our highest calling. You know, I think Robert said it pretty well. You know, initially, we had some concerns, you know, about the inward facing camera as we evaluate the technology. And, and I've always felt like that I was an advocate for our drivers. I mean, Robert's kind of emphasized this from really the first day I started here, that we have to be driver focused. And so I've always felt like that was kind of part of my mission was to make sure I was an advocate for the drivers and we're considering everything. And, and the privacy is... It's hugely important, and, and we, we have a great level of care and concern for that. But, you know, our, our mission as a company is to make our drivers profitable in the most safe manner we can do it. And, and technology is a way to get there. In fact, if we had ignored this technology, it, it's kind of like trying to fight with one arm behind your back. You're at a disadvantage. I mean, this Technology, there's, there's very few successful companies that aren't really embracing technology. And so we feel like this is what we've got to do. There's just no question that, you know, that that success is dependent upon it. And we know it's hard. I mean, all change is hard. And we've gone through a lot of change over the years. You know, I, I was here when we first went to the, the first collision mitigation system. And that was the old Vorad. A lot of our long-term drivers will remember that and know that well. And, and it was tough. I mean, it was really hard because it, it modified your driving behavior. And nobody likes to be told that I'm not a perfect driver. But let's face it, I, I'm not sure any of us are. So this technology, and it's no different than even when we went to automatics. I know a ton of you guys didn't like it. But today, I couldn't pry it away from you because that technology really is very valuable. And, and this is a similar deal. It's new technology that we're probably not gonna be big fans of at first, but once you get used to it, you're gonna find out that this is gonna make you a better driver, a safer driver, and really help with so many things. And you know, I was asked the question, why, well, why Netrodyne? Why did we go with them? Trust me, we compared a lot of companies. We wanted to look at each camera system and see if we're gonna do this, we want the best system for our drivers. And this is, it, it truly, we believe it's the best system, but for some good reasons. I, I don't know, I think Robert mentioned, you know, that the enhanced privacy that Netrodyne provides. I mean, they have, their system is unique. It uses the AI that Robert mentioned. That AI is looking at the driver and helping coach the driver. So for example, if you put your cell phone up to your ear, the AI will pick up on that. And it, if you do it for too long, more than a few seconds, it's going to, it's going to tell you about it. It's going to give you a little verbal message that, hey, you know, you probably should take that phone down from your ear. As long as you correct the action, we won't even get involved. We won't even know about it. 
It's only if you continue to do something that's a risky behavior that we actually even get involved. And I'm sure Dennis is going to talk about some of that. But the point is that it's really there to help coach you, to, to give you additional support, not for us to watch you because that doesn't happen. And in fact, if the key's off, the whole system's blacked out. So it's not like this camera's there and we can somehow watch you. Uh, one of the things that came up, I think, was insurance. And, and is this going to help with insurance? Well, yes, but let's start with a basic premise. The first thing it might do is actually help us get insurance <laughs> because a lot of the insurance companies today are really pulling out of the trucking market. There's been so many of these nuclear verdicts and, and all these issues with trucking companies that a lot of insurance companies have pulled away from it. Um, you know, we, we self-insure uh, the first several million of our insurance, and then we have coverage all the way up to 150 million. And we believe that's important when we talk to our customers. But I'll tell you that over the last few years, a lot of those layers in that 150 million, the insurance companies don't want to cover anymore. And so we've had to just self-insure some of those. This will be one step towards helping prove to the insurance companies that we are a safe company and that we do embrace all the safety technologies. And two, absolutely, if, if it's going to reduce cost, if it's going to reduce accidents, it's going to reduce cost. To the driver especially, you don't pay that deductible. You're not down. You don't have medical costs. And you don't have the emotional burden of maybe injuring someone else. So there's a lot of wonderful things there. And it reduces primes costs. So it's a shared deal. And yes, if it does what it's supposed to do, which we all believe that this system is going to truly help us improve our safety, that absolutely our costs will come down and those costs uh, as always, part of our pie theory is to share those with our in-house and our drivers uh, alike. Um, I, I will tell you that our, you know, people say, well, what's it going to cost me? Well, our lease rate on our 2025s is already set, and that rate's not going to change. Nor will it change on our older trucks, our 24s or 23s. So, no, this system is going to go in place. There'll be no change in the lease rate. And you'll see this technology as a huge benefit. I'm confident of that. So we're excited. We think it's a, a great step forward. I'm sure Dennis has got a lot more information to share with you on frequently asked questions and things like that. Uh, so uh, with that, I'll just say I'm excited and looking forward to it. And I think you will be too. Thanks, Daryl. You know, we've been piloting different camera systems for the better part of a year. And we put out crumbs about a year ago talking about cameras. As Daryl mentioned and as Robert mentioned, it was never our intention to have inward facing cameras. But as we did our research, as we got with the technology teams and we saw the technology that was available and we were able to see the change in the driver's behaviors that piloted all of these camera systems, it was hard to say no. And it, and it, it would also probably be almost negligent for us not to take this necessary step. So throughout this, this pilot, there have been some questions asked about how do you intend to protect the privacy of your drivers? There'll be no bunk view. There'll be no passenger seat view. Only the driver's seat will be available for the coach to see. While the key is in the ignition and the truck is moving will be the only time the inward facing video will be recording. And there will be no audio, period. What happens if the camera does capture a safety event? First and foremost, this is not a gotcha situation. It's not our goal to, to catch you with the phone in your hand or catch you not properly wearing your seatbelt to run you out of here. We've never been that type of company and we never will be that type of company. However, we are the type of company where we want to prevent these things from having a ding on your score, having a ding on our score for you getting written up or for you getting a citation whatever the case may be. In-cab audible alerts will go off if you just so happen to forget and pick up your phone. We're not going to run you out of here. There's going to be an in-cab audible alert that says uh, handheld device detected. It'll give you the opportunity to self-correct, put the phone down. There will be no video created. There will be nothing sent to Prime if you self-correct. Now, if you don't, of course, a video will be create, created. This will be sent to Prime. And of course, your, your fleet manager or the safety department will be ready to coach you out of those bad habits. Conversely, the best part about this and my favorite part is the gamification piece. Well, what's gamification? 
With real data points, we'll be able to know who our safest driver is every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year, over a seven year million mile period. So no more arbitrary awards because uh, this person speaks highly of Prime or anything like that. There'll be real data points that say driver Jane Doe over the last 30 days was our safest driver. How does the camera react to a normal driving activity such as eating, drinking, vaping, smoking? Again, this is not a gotcha system. We're not going to run you out of here for doing the things that you normally do behind the wheel of a truck that are perfectly legal. If the camera does give an alert and your fleet manager or the safety department sees that you're just drinking coffee, there's no problem. We delete the event and we move forward. We owe it to our drivers to be best in class and give you best in class resources to be the safest and most profitable driver you can be.